it's Renee with Delaney Jane Cards. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using the Stamp Timber Paper Smooches Simon Says Stamp Collab Kit called, I think it's called Deco Fall. And then I had a Pebbles um, paper pad that has some fall theme paper and I showed you the pumpkin paper that I will be using. So um, I wanted to do something kind of different. I wanted to do like shading stamped patterns. This pumpkin, I was really drawn to it. It's kind of like a, I guess it's a gingham or plaid or check pattern. I don't know. Um, this is why I bought this set because I really liked the design of it. Um, so I had done a little research, first of all, to see what inks I had that I could color over. And I know like my MFT um, hybrid inks, you can color with your Copics and, and that's what it's made for. I also have lots of black choices and I have the ink on three fade out ink and, um, but I wanted like yellow or an orange and I don't really have many of those in my collection. But what I do have is a few of the pink and main cubes. Uh, I think they're, I don't know if they're called ice cubes or what they're called but um, anyway on their website it says that once the ink is dry you can color over it with your Copics and I did and it worked just fine it didn't smear it kept its place uh, this one is a really light color I guess if I would have done this again I would have used a darker color because I do go back over this and um, stamp it later on but what I was doing is Kind of a no line effect but getting that pattern um, in the image so like the brown checks you can really see that pattern but there is no black outline on that image so I thought it was kind of a neat style and I thought that this stamp set would work well with that so here I decided to stamp this again first I stamped it in um, my yellow again and then I stamped it in my brown and um, I didn't clean off the stamp in between and you'll see that well it could have been an issue but these are fall leaves so it isn't so much an issue uh, but they definitely transferred um, I did just wipe it off afterwards after I was done filming and it was fine I stamped most of it off here you can see that the color gets more yellow as I use it I also stamped this leaf here in that same yellow and I pulled out an Amuse Studio green Amuse Studios, uh, I think you could still get their stuff online, but they used to be like a, um, like an at-home demonstrator kind of company. So here I cut everything apart, and then I did fussy cut it all off screen, and I cut it all with a little white border. It was a lot more work than I really wanted to put into it, but I did it anyway. And then I wanted to color the sleeve because I forgot to do that. I was all excited that my pumpkins were done, and I cut everything out. So I um, shaded this with some oranges and some yellows. I didn't want to hide that pattern, uh, which is why I wanted a light colored ink because you can see the color that I'm using very clearly in the spaces where it's white and you can tell that the ink is underneath it. And you get that kind of cool pattern. I, I just thought it would be kind of a neat look. And um, this was a different card for me. It's not my style, uh, but uh, I don't make cards to give to myself, so uh, we don't always have to make things that are exactly our style. So I die cut that with a Gina Marie scalloped edge die, and here I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this layout. And I decided to kind of move my pumpkins up so that they were kind of mid-card and uh, build a little scene. I don't end up using all of those leaves. That's a lot of leaves and I really don't know why I stamped so many. I think I just didn't want to run out. And then I chose the thank you sentiment from this stamp set and a science of stamp frame die. And I'm glad I wasn't like stamping it right on my card because I originally put the stamp down upside down. <laughs> so here I was just laying everything out trying to see what I really wanted to do with it. And then I decided to put the sentiment on the same brown colored cardstock that I used for the background. And I heat embossed that. And I'm using some Brutus Monroe, um, I think it's called Sand Storm ink. It's kind of this orangey 
brown color. It went really, really well with these colors in the pattern papers, and I don't have that lined up straight. <laughs> I did straighten it out. It's still, like, not perfect. I think I could have probably used the larger um, strip. And then I pulled out this, it's like twine, but more like raffia stuff, and I decided I wanted to do one of those, like, loopy nests behind my pumpkins, and I thought it would kind of represent straw. So I put a piece of double-sided double stick tape down and then just kind of looped it around uh, and cut it off and um, made sure that I had it spread out wide enough that it would poke out from behind my little pumpkins so it didn't didn't look un didn't look like it wasn't meant to be there it looked like it was planned um, and then I popped up the pumpkin that has the darker pattern on it. Originally put foam tape on it and then ended up having to peel it back off because it wasn't in the right place. But I put that down and then a tiny little piece of uh, foam tape here on the end of the sentiment and decided that there just wasn't enough loopies underneath there. I wanted to bring that down a little more so I just added a small little piece and made sure that it was kind of where I would want it to be. And then I did add another little piece of the um, tape to make sure it stayed in place and then push it with my finger just to make sure that it wasn't going to stick out from underneath the sentiment strip there. I adhered that down and I um, pulled out these like um, oh added the leaves first. I did add two leaves and they are in the same orientation as one of the set of pumpkins that's in the background. I don't there's like two pumpkins together. Anyway, these dots are from Gina Marie dies that came in a scrapping for less kit. And I thought that they worked perfectly with these colors and the tones here. <laughs> and I really do like this kind of, they're dry instantly. So it's not like new glow drops where you have to wait for them to dry. Uh, so I was putting them all down and then watch this. I wanted this one and I went to pick it up with my pokey tool and didn't get it, didn't get it. It went flying across the room. <laughs> I never did find it, and I really am not going to look for it either. <laughs> so here I was just adhering my panel down after I put the enamel dots down, and I tied a little bow on this one pumpkin here. Just used my reverse tweezers to hold that in place while I tied it real quick. I just thought it looked kind of country and cute, and... Uh, figured somebody would like this for their fall color fall cards I mean why not send a fall thank you card and here's close-up still shots um, you can see that stamping coming through the Copic coloring which I thought was really cool and I'd love to hear what you have to say about this card did you enjoy my bloopers <laughs> anyway thank you for stopping by I very much appreciate it and as always give cards generously Bye now.